about strangling. Tell me what it's like. Well, it's like you want that feeling, that, that grip, that when you tighten you grab around that neck, the more strength that muscle in the neck pushes back. It's basically for the life. It's almost undescribable. You have to experience it to know exactly what it's like. You feel the drain of the body. You feel the relaxation of the muscles. You feel the body give up. Release. Is it a release for you too? Hearing this kind of stuff doesn't get any easier. It kills me sometimes. It yeah. really does. You know what I'm saying. You of know, course I know what you're th saying. 13. I've done it so many times. I thought I had an idea, but not until I started doing it myself did I really know the emotional toll that it takes. If the Coastal Killer is anything like Raven, he may well be getting sexual pleasure from strangling. Mixing sex and violence is common in serial killers. Take the roadside strangler, Michael B. Ross, who strangled eight young women between 1981 and 1984. My biggest thrill sexually is from thoughts of, of actually strangling a woman. Ross was so tormented by his urges, he asked to be castrated. He even supported his own death sentence. I used them, I degraded them for my own personal pleasure. It had to end. Like the coastal killer, Ross targeted young females walking on the road. So how do these predators get their victims in the car in the first place? 